Hey guys, welcome back to Kirby's Dream Land 3! So, um, I think from here on out, I think I'll go- I think what I'll do is that I'll at least name our guardians that will be- that will be- uh, that are hosting the stages that we'll be going to, just so we- you know, because there is a little bit of backstory in this game, even if it's like very, very minute, like you can totally ignore it, but I don't care. So, um, <laughs> the first three that we actually dealt with in order were, uh, Tulip the Rose, uh, Moochie Moochie, oh. and, uh, the Pitcher Man. Uh, for this stage, we we're actually going to be find going to be dealing with uh, Chao and Goku, two characters from an old Japan-only game called Yu Yu Ki. Oh, you so they... knows that hmm. Star Block at the very beginning of the stage. No, what was on with it? No, did you guys notice it? It was just like floating right in the top left corner. Oh yeah, on the, uh, yeah, above the starting area. I remember that now. What yeah. was that? It was just floating there, menacingly. Medicine Medicine oh. <laughs> Must have been a but, oh, uh, you oh. silly bat, you can't swim. So was Goku from the recently released HAL Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that Goku. So, I know it's easy to make that mistake, granted. It's Goku, son. Go Nago! Doop! Yeah. Okay, so yeah, like, this time I'm actually gonna be using probably one of my pro probably one of my favorite uh, animal buddies in the entire game. This is Nago the cat. He can double jump. And roll Kirby into a ball, which is cute. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, oh, those freaking no. oh, yeah, those, oh, yeah, those oh, freaking green balls are totally from 64 as well. Wow, there are a yeah. lot of things 64 used from this game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like you Kirby know 64 what? is a direct sequel to this. You know what? And I just realized I really do need something right now. You know, you should uh, bash the floor. Yeah, like you're really angry. Ow. I'm cute. Ow, ow, ow. You know what? I will I do love that though. Would not go literally just pound, like bangs Kirby like a rock. <laughs> It's so funny. I was about to say. It kind of reminds me of whenever my cat Coco bothers me for like water or if she wants to sit on my lap. Do, 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 do. Ow. Like throwing a little bit of a tantrum. Do, 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 do. Ah, okay, this is probably not a good idea, so I'll just take you out. Thank you. Whoosh. Oh, that was Bobo, oh. by the way. Bobo, sorry. Oh, yeah, hey, Bernie Lee. Well, I was about to Bye. say was Monkey. What the Whoa. fuck? It's, um, it's an 8 bit monkey. So, oh, okay, so... we grabbed the monkey. Let's get out of here. Is that um, a sprite? Yes. It is, it is. L like I said, this is... Well, okay, in, okay, maybe not so much idiots. It's more so Famicom, because, you know, there's a distinct difference. Family really, on but... future, god. <laughs> <laughs> Dantics at the end of the day, uh, but, um... So, yeah. Hate him. Yeah, Golums. yeah this, this, the sands are... Sandman are... Fire! Right, but, um... Oh, and the, uh... The block, Sandmen make funny faces. They do. It just... Every, like, you get so close to them, and they're like... Ooh! <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, it didn't oh, even give right. me a chance to go. Ooh. I was about to say, if I'm not mistaken, those are also enemies that return from um, Crystal Shards, which really makes me wonder, like, do you think had she known there would be so many Kirby 64 similarities here, would Ali jump into joining us with this? Oh, I doubt it. I... Well, I just, well, I just she, say that because like exactly, we've been... She, she's, not, she's not exactly a Kirby fan. That's fair. Well, I was about to say, she's not, but she's admitted that Kirby 64 is the only Kirby game she liked, and this has a lot of similarities to it, as we mentioned. Well, I'm just gonna say this right now. I mean, it's... I mean, I guess she would appreciate all the references, but at the same time, like... Between the two games, I would say Kirby 64 is still easily the better game. I mean, Kirby 64 is the first Kirby game I've... There you oh. go. They've been reunited. Yep, that and he's just chewing on, chewing on air. Um, no, 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 no. He'll filter feed. <laughs> <laughs> that is just oh, that really so weird cute. to look at. Doop. Nice. Nice. So anyway, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So um, we've taken care of Chow and Goku's problems, and uh, they'll happily go back to their old game and re remain in the realms of obscurity. So now we're going to meet up with... Uh, let's A see, fish. Her name is Mine. A oh, fish, but not nice. just any fish. She's 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 Kine's wife. Aww. And there's and she would appreciate nothing more than to see her hubby come home, which is pretty much exactly what we're gonna be doing here. Okay, let's go get Kine. So wait, do it, wife. Yeah, DDD. Apparently, I was actually, fish actually had a, actually got married before you. I was did. actually doing a. Did they ever show my? I was actually doing a book of life reference. Oh. Oh. <laughs> did they ever? Did they ever show mine in the anime series? Huh? Like, did they ever acknowledge Kine having a wife in the anime? Nope. Uh, I don't think so, no. Save for maybe a few few exceptions, like, 
here. Not all all the friends you meet up with in this game really don't return in any fashion. Nope. You only get the original three want. animal friends. Right. There's the fish. Oh, and start and there's the fishy. Nope. Oh, let's hit a ride. He's still right in his mouth. Well, in hindsight, I kind of get the feeling oh, that um. Dear, cheer up, cool. I kind of get the feeling that, in uh, hindsight, that uh, Takori was supposed to be a stand-in for Pitch. I... probably, yeah. Which makes me wonder why they didn't just use Pitch. Probably. Uh, because they wanted to push the new oh. funny characters, like S. Cargoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah. true, that's true. Wait, yeah, look at wait this. Escargoon wasn't Star Wars? And even then, he and King Dedede just stole the show. Um, technically, Seelie, um, Escargoon and uh, the enemy salesman did make a cameo appearance in uh, uh, Kirby Mass Attack. Mm. But we're not oh, going to get that for a very long time. Nope. I actually yeah. don't have a prop I don't have a roll album means of recording it right now. I never even played the game. Well, you you have a Wii U mystery. Why don't you get the Why don't you get the game off the virtual console? Well, from I what I heard, well, from what I heard, because if I want to play a DS game, I'm going to play it on the 3DS. <laughs> That's fair. Well, well, from what I heard, doesn't the doesn't the salesman appear as like a game over message? I think so. I think. Well, he's not, he's not on the main game over screen. He's a game. I think it's a game over screen in one of the sub games. Oh, uh, I would say it's at least worth. I would say the game kind looks so worth like. Yeah. Oh, oh my what God. are you doing? Here's my mission raisin! I'm still out here! I'll never get over the pain. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ray. Right. Scrawny, I'm home. I bring Kirby oh, home dear. to wife. You're full of holes! You're <laughs> wasting away! Uh, honey, you got something in your mouth! And now for the fishy num nums. <laughs> Do nope. Aww. Kirby feels very out of place in this. And I was about to say. <laughs> that's where you can be. Let's get out yeah, I was about to say, those fish are really going at it. <laughs> yeah, let's leave. You don't want to nice. imagine the sound effects that they're making as Kirby's leaving. Oh god. <laughs> Edited in some wacky sound effects coming from Oh my from gosh, cave. it could be horrible. It could be, you just listen like, what's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... What's that smell? Oh, oh Max. <laughs> oh. So, um, anyway, this is the home to uh, Pierre, a, ri a clown. Mm. Not just any clown, though. He has a, he, his biggest gimmick is, is juggling shapes. Are oh. you sure he's a clown? He looks more like an egg. Well, a clown egg. I know someone who can juggle shapes if we give him a right power up. Sorry, Dude. we just need a now we just need an umbrella power up. <laughs> you know, you know what though? That would have actually oh. been a very clever, clever alternative. But no, you that's not what you're actually doing here. You are finding literal shapes, like oh, in one I specific we had to room. Him. I thought we had to impress him with our with our with, with our, our with juggling. our circus skills. I, Again, it would have been it would have been a it would have been a grand old opportunity, but they decided not to capitalize. All right. Um, oh, James, what is the purpose of the hard stars themselves? Like, why can't we just skip them? You can skip them if you want, though. I honestly think this game's a little dull if you do, if you decide just to go do the bare minimum. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> don't swallow them. Don't swallow oh. those guys from the. Ow! My heart. Yeah, if you swallow those, they cost health. Yep. Don't eat the spiders. They taste like garbage. Good thing that wasn't here. <laughs> now that would have scared me as a kid. They taste like despair. The one time I I can think of where you eat an enemy and you literally lose health for it. Kirby's being punished for his gluttony at long last. You can fit in there, go on. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. You're just too fat. Um, no. actually, That's... it's those spiders. You were saying, and, mate. And the poison <laughs> apples from a uh, wispy. Oh, we gotcha. Yeah. The poison apples? Yeah, Oops. whenever you refight Wispy Woods mm -hmm. and it has the purple leaves, don't eat the apples. The poison apples. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's. You know what? I never really had the foresight Ooh, to do shape. that, so that's news to me. One shape. That is a very triangular shaped window that you just took off that wood panel. You're too fat, Rick. I'm <laughs> taking too many. I made too many trips to the Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> I've, I've, I've honestly never I'm been there for before. some reason. He's not racist, is he? <laughs> I'm stereotypical for some reason. Okay, he is that, but I'm not sure he's stereotypical. Real talk, who all of... Again. <laughs> I was about to say, real talk, who out of all of us here have ever actually eaten at an Outback Steakhouse before? There's one near me, but I've never been. I, I think I've only done it once. I've only had it once. I ate there last week for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. How was it? Mm. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, the boom and is great. They make good steak. Uh, I had some shrimps on the bobby. Oh. <laughs> I can only think of like. Ah, two. Hey, by, the way, by the way, by the way, 
By the way, ladies and gentlemen, don't think too hard about whenever you're using the fire ability with Rick. It's, they're, they're purely just pals and nothing but. Mm -hmm. Whoosh. Yeah. But anyway, I was about to say, I think the only they're steakhouses that are near where I live, there are two in particular. One of them is, I'm sure Logan will appreciate. One of them is Texas Roadhouse, and the other is Logan's. Yay. Oh, uh, and the sad Roadhouse. part is, is that Logan sucks. Texas Roadhouse is way better. You say that, you but that it's Logan, just... You're, you're cooking is garbage. I was about to say... You suck! No. I was about to say, you say that, Logan, but I swear, like, maybe the one near you is like that, but the one that we have actually isn't that bad. Basically, it's just oh. another Texas Roadhouse, but with a fancy Dearie name. me, this force is rather dusty. <laughs> oh, fine. Also, I'm so, also. I, I I thought he was throwing up water, but no. He he's just making a. Uh, he's just making the, the 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 duster come out like from behind him. Yeah, he's literally got a feather like, duster. No. Um, every animal buddy in this game has some sort of cleaning oh, utensil. Like Nago no. here has a has a has a cleaning mat. Mm -hmm. Who's the cleaning uh, mat? The showcase. I come on, so bad there you go. The cleaning mat is Kirby. <laughs> Wee. But yeah, no. Ow, I love ow, that this so much. I'm so glad. And I'm so glad they brought this back for yeah. uh, Star Allies. But yeah, no joke. It's oh, like they're same. both it's they're adorable. both practically they're both here the practically the same Devil Dime restaurant. Like they both even have that same thing of like the barrels filled with peanuts that you can eat, and they're okay with you leaving the shelves peanuts. on the floors. Well, I'll say Texas Roadhouse is definitely a little bit more oh, like oh, it's like, oh geez, Bogle. So I'll, I'll say that I'll say trees? that low. Uh, I don't know. Where are I'll they like say nipples of eyes? <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll yeah, definitely anyway, say that. I'll definitely say that Texas is a little bit more like cleaning. Oriented. Oh yeah, that's a that's kind of a beginner's trap. Don't use Nago for going for that one up. He won't make it back up. Oh, he can't climb. Yeah. And now, without further ado. Ah, uh, double damn it. Away! Da, 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 da. Uh, boy, I do boy, not boy, understand boy, this boy, reference. Boy, uh, it, boy, okay, yo. classic NES game about a uh, Disney uh, afternoon uh, TV uh, show. Uh, uh. Uh, you mean Tailspin? I can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not. Bonkers? I think he's being sarcastic. Recess? I haven't seen Recess in a number of years. <laughs> Recess, Recess School's Out, but starring, starring James everyone's Woods. favorite hero, uh, James Woods. Yes. It was Someone bad. had better Ow. say, Fine. excuse it. me, you ruined my groove. You call that a mouth? This is a mouth. I loved, I loved James Woods in that. <laughs> yeah. He got him all the shapes. Was he in all that? Yeah, I, I, I haven't James seen. He's the villain. I, in the movie. Anyway. I haven't seen that movie yet. Boo! You stink! Wow. <laughs> you fucking clown. But uh, why am you? I was gonna ask James. <laughs> my funny, funny how funny like a clown mean boy. Like, my fun, I'm sorry. I need to watch. That. I'm a little funny Dude. in the head. James, mm. what is the purpose of the Hearth Stars? Why do we why do we need them? Because they'll they unlock the they unlock the true ending of the game. Gotcha. And they also hey. purify our bosses, like good old Wispy Woods. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to fight them. Wow. No, you still gotta fight them. Oh no, we have to expose James Woods. Oh, James oh, Woods. He's the villain villains. of the movie. <laughs> He's, uh, he's diversifying to vegetables now. Oh, oh boy. <gasps> oh. And now it's time for some nightmare fuel. Oh Jesus my God. Christ. Oh, By the way, do not eat the fruit at this point. They are poisoned. He's boys finally are. had it with Kirby shit. He wants to take that there Kirby out. Sorry, hang on, hype. We're almost done. But yeah, just for context, Icky, um, his. Oh, right. Okay. okay. And he's down. Use the heart powers. That was the scariest Wispy Woods ever. I hope you all enjoyed yeah. it. And uh, let's, let, let's not do that again. Yeah. Heart Star away! No Star Allies, purify Dark Matter. I think the scariest uh, Wispy Woods iteration would either be this or um, uh, Clanky Woods. This. Mm, this. I mean, Clanky Woods is Speed. creepy for his own reasons, but yay! We're done. Clanky Woods um, is hella creepy. Wispy's dead, I think. He's not. He's not showing up. Nah, Wispy's, Wispy's just Wispy's just reverted to his natural natural uh, form again. Just a tree. Yes. Right, so so um, see you in the next area. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, stay tuned uh, for the next part. We shall go off to the Ripple Field. Till next time, everybody. Wait, hi. What were you mm -hmm. saying just then? Um, I was just explaining um, the thing with James Woods and Recess is basically his motivation is that he wants to make it so that kids can actually, you know. They don't have to go to summer vacation. They stay in school and, you know, up their grades and whatnot. His idea of doing so? Mm -hmm. Basically creating a second Ice Age. 
Yep. Motherfucker. Makes perfect sense. He wants to do reverse Majora's Mask. Bye, everybody. See ya.